Hello everybody, I'm Scotty. Welcome back to Scotty's Clock World. I was having a problem with the cuckoo clock movement. The rack and snail system wasn't working properly and I wasn't quite sure what it was. The movement was in its case, but as I turned the hand around, the minute hand, the cuckoo sounded only once every half hour and every hour, irrespective of what the correct time was. So I took the movement out of the case again and looked at it the usual way, holding it in my left hand and turning the counter weight with my left handed finger and then trying to turn the, the minute hand on the arbor so I could see what the problem was. And it was very hard to do in actual fact. I had to keep looking to see in which direction things were, were going and what was happening with the rack and snail and if the gathering pallet was working correctly or not and it became quite a bit of a pain so I thought I'll build a little test stand that I could put it in to make it a lot easier and this is what we've got here in front of us at the moment we'll have a look at the back and see what I've done to accommodate the weight falling so I've set it up on my new little stand here and the, the hands on this cuckoo clock uh, are made of wood and I didn't want to um, run the risk of breaking them or damaging them. So what I've done is I've put that little square nut on that sits between the, the minute hand and the hour hand and then put the knurl nut over the top of it. So what I can do now, instead of having to turn the minute hand round, I just now twist the minute arbor with these, these knurl nuts on it and you can see it turning around. I'll turn it slowly. That was a half hour. And then I turn it a bit more. We'll turn it up towards the hour. Just gone into warning. You can see the maintenance cam there. Seven o'clock. All right, so that's working okay. We'll do another one because you need to do it more than once to make sure it's correct. That's a half hour into warning again. This should be eight o'clock. Eight. All right. So what I've done with my test stand here, I've got the weight on the back. You can see the chain down here on the ground. What I've done with my test stand, you can see is I've cut a hole in the back of it there. And there's the weight. The weight falls into that hole. And the other side of the chain also goes through the hole. I'll lift the weight up. Again, so you can see it moving. I wind the minute arbor round slowly. Half an hour. Continue winding. There you can see the hour. The weight is falling and falls through the hole in the back of my test stand. Half an hour again, into warning. Ten o'clock. So that's my new little test stand. I'll put a drawing plus the specifications for the stand in the end of this video so that if anyone wants to build one, they can follow along with the plans and then you'll have one. This is how I made the cuckoo clock test stand that I used in this video. I used 9mm MDF for this project. The upright section that you can see there has a width of 105mm and a height of 310mm. The cutout section where the movement is, is installed is 65 by 65mm. To make the cutout, I drill an 8mm hole in each quarter then cut out the section in between with a saw, then filed it and rasped it down and finally finished it off with sandpaper. 
The base has a length of 335 millimeters and a width of 105 millimeters. The upright section and the base were glued together with Type Bond 3 and there is a support block 50 by 30 millimeters on either side made of hardwood that is also glued to both sections. I then used a 55 mil Forstner bit to drill a hole approximately in the center of the base and you'll notice there that I'm using two inch G clamps to hold the piece onto my bench so that it doesn't move. This photo shows the cuckoo clock movement set into the cutout section of the stand. This photo shows the back of the stand with the movement installed and the weight attached, ready for testing. I've put the movement back inside the case and I've put the hook and stopper ring on both chains. You can see I've repaired the piece that was knocked off there that's been glued back on again and I've matched up the colour with the colour of the original clock case. I've stained the other carved linden wood tree that I bought from the UK. It's not exactly the same as the other colour, it was very hard to match but I think it fits in relatively well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the clock up on a test stand then I'll put the hands on it, we'll check and see what time it is and we'll see how the cuckoo sounds.